On the 18th of January, 2024, the CEO of Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, announced that the company would be launching its next product, Llama 3. This product will be a groundbreaking stride in the AI technology space as it aims to displace products like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. In today's video, we'll be talking about this tool, its features, and what puts it far ahead of its competitors. But before we begin, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when we upload new videos. The first model of Llama was launched by Meta in February 2023, and in July that same year, Meta also launched Llama 2. These releases were great, and as chatbots, they did well to interact with the prompts given to them. However, they were limited in so many ways. For example, Llama 2 refuses to answer questions that have any resemblance or tinge of controversial words in it. So if you ask it a question that has an illusion of violence or one that contains words that could be violent in other contexts, it would assume the meaning of the word and refuse to give you any reply. These models, smart as they are, lack the understanding that words only have meaning in context and assume that words such as kill and war can only be used in a negative light. That is what made it harder for users to make the best of these tools. So with this in mind, Meta decided to go back to the drawing board to see how they can improve on this technology to make it more accommodating towards controversial questions. They began training this new model, Llama 3, equipping it with enough information to be able to give better, more contextual answers to their users. Because it aimed towards creating a super intelligent AI, unlike Llama 2, which was too safe and even rigid, this AI model will be more daring. To achieve this, Meta plans to appoint an internal figure who will be in charge of making sure that the model is trained to understand tone and context to have meaningful conversations with users. Hopefully, by the time of the release, Llama 3 will be able to have a human, more nuanced conversations around sensitive topics without being as restrictive as its predecessors. Another thing that Meta promises Llama 3 will be able to achieve is multimodal capabilities. Though most AI tools can operate in the capacity of text, video, or images, Llama 3 will be able to work with text, images, and videos. In fact, Mark Zuckerberg has plans to improve this technology to the point where it transcends all these forms of media to a point where it can be a part of normal human life. This means we'll be able to incorporate AI technology into everything we do, as opposed to just chatbots we use for work in school. Another interesting thing about this release is the dedication of Meta to make this tool an open source tool. Open source tools are tools that are open to the general public to use and build upon. AI tools like ChatGPT aren't usually open source. This means that you cannot access or modify the model's source code to create things out of it or just explore the possibilities that exist within the AI technology industry. However, with Llama 3, Meta aims to do better. In the past, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta, has made it known to everyone for a while now that he would love to make it possible for anyone and everyone interested to be able to build their own AI tools. He believes that there is no need to have the power of AI in the hands of a single company or person. This is why, as far as we know, the Meta Llama 3 will be open to developers who would like to tweak or fine tune the model and build upon it. This will increase the level of innovation within the AI ecosystem and make Meta a name to be reckoned with in the world of AI technology. What Meta is trying to do will surely pave the way for the future of technology as it looks to move beyond the threshold of programmed AI technology to artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI. This form of AI possesses the ability to understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks and domains. Unlike the regular AI we're used to, this one should be able to incorporate cognitive flexibility, adaptability, and general problem-solving skills. Although Meta's Llama 3 may not be able to incorporate this form of AI technology yet, we do believe that the work of Mark Zuckerberg and Meta would pave the way for the birth of this possibility. Through research and various experiments, Meta has shown promise in their capacity to create the perfect balance of safety and freedom in AI. However, even with this freedom, Meta looks forward to holding the tool accountable and rejecting any form of unethical behavior from it. So, while it is being trained to solve all these problems and provide answers to hard questions, it is also being taught ethical behavior. Its counterpart, ChatGPT, has been caught in ethical controversies involving the leaking of private information about their users, using the work of creatives without permission, and generally glitching and lagging to the point of hallucination. But Meta aims to train this new model close to perfection in a bid to avoid controversies and give people a better experience. 
In conclusion, the world of technology and artificial intelligence is looking forward to the release of this tool that promises to break the internet and usher in a new future for the world. Yes, there might be challenges to be met on the way, and no single technology tool is perfect, but this one holds promise. So get ready for July and keep your ears open. If you'd like to see more updates on this topic and other tech-related subjects, feel free to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you're the first to be notified of all our videos whenever we create something new. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, if you have any topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one.